Savior, God, before it's everlasting too late, Lord, I pray for this country, God, tonight that you would just touch it, put your hand on it, God, only you can fix it, God, and we know that, and I pray to God that you just take this offer and bless it to your benefit, God, just be at the services tonight, in your holy, sweet, and precious name, amen. amen. 
Page 235. Page 235. <coughs> Once I never. Be the light that you'd have us to be. 
And I pray now, dear Heavenly Father, that you'll cleanse us from all unrighteousness, those things that we just fail you in, Lord. And I pray, God, if there's one here tonight that don't know you as their, as their Savior, Lord, tonight, dear God, they get in before it's everlasting too late. Lord, I know there's no time like the present. Lord, I pray now, dear Heavenly Father, for our country, our nation. I pray for this world, dear Lord, and all those that have requested prayer, those who have. God, that you would touch and move, Lord, upon their lives. And I pray for your people tonight, dear God, that we'll see a desire. We'll see a need, dear Lord. Uh, just like uh, uh, David said over there, is there not a cause? So, God, I pray tonight, dear Lord, you'll help us to see that cause. And you'll help us to get on fire for you. Lord, like we've never been before. And realize, dear God, without you, uh, we are doomed. Uh, but with you, we have everything. And I pray now, dear Heavenly Father, if there be one here tonight that just has a need, uh, whatever that need is tonight, God, you'll supply according to your will. And put a hedge of protection about your people. God, help us, Lord, to fight the good fight of faith. We'll give you all the glory. Not our will be done, but by in Jesus. Bless the name I pray. Amen. Amen. I tell you, I was thinking tonight, uh, uh, this week and uh, this afternoon, as we've been praying and studying a little bit and all the things we see go on. And, uh, you ever just feel like your prayer's not been answered? Amen. Uh, I'll guarantee you that this week, there's probably a lot of folks that uh, feel like that their prayers have not been answered. Uh, you know, with all the election results and all the things going on and changing, hey, it's my, your prayers might, you may feel like your prayers have been answered. Uh, but I hope you get what you pray for. Amen. <laughs> Listen, uh, uh, you're going to get what you pray for. I'm telling you. Uh, but here's the, here's the thing I want to tell you a little bit about. Uh, you know, if you feel like that your prayers have not been answered, uh, uh, there's some conditions of prayer. Amen. Uh, I was thinking this this week as well. Uh, uh, I was thinking about how I guarantee you, I, I just kind of feel in my heart, uh, I, I guarantee you feel like that, you know, sometimes we feel like old Elijah over there, we felt like he didn't have nobody, don't you? Uh, just on the back side over there down by the brook. Uh, and I mean, he felt like everybody was closing in on him. Uh, he felt like that he was the only one left that was even praying. Amen. Uh, he felt like he's the only one left that's even trying to do anything for God. Uh, well, I'm going to do this for you. You ain't by yourself. Amen. Uh, Elijah found out that God had reserved over 400. Uh, amen. There to be by his side and back him up. Uh, but here's our problem a lot of times. Uh, I feel like uh, that there was a lot of people praying over the election, don't you? Uh, I feel like there's a lot of people praying uh, over the nation. Uh, but you know what? Uh, uh, here's what the problem is. Uh, a lot of them, first of all, wasn't praying that God's will be done. Amen? Uh, and I, I can tell you, so well, you think this is God's will? I don't know if it's God's will or not, but I know it's in the plan. Amen? Uh, I know it didn't catch him off guard. Uh, you say, well, if it wasn't God's will, then why in the world uh, did what has happened, amen? Uh, why does it continue to seem to go uh, in the opposite direction of the way that we thought that it might go? Uh, well, I've just got news for you. Uh, Bible said here when, when, when uh, uh, in the book of 2 Chronicles here, uh, he was writing there and he told the people, he said, if my people, amen, uh, let me ask you something. Did you expect uh, the world to do God's will, amen? Uh, amen. Christians won't even do God's will. Uh, hey, I tell you, the Bible said if his people we are God's chosen people. Yeah. I'm not talking he wasn't waiting on Israel to vote for us amen. He's waiting on us to get our lives right. He's waiting on us to do the right thing. He's waiting on his people amen. Which are called by his name. Hey I'll tell you right now if you don't belong to God I'll make sure that I got in and I got my sin. Listen I'm all for this flag amen. I love this flag, but I will tell you where I claim my citizenship to. My citizenship's right here. It's under this flag. My citizenship is over yonder in glory. And I'm telling you, I'm just a soldier passing through a foreign land. Get at home. One of these days, I will get off duty and I'll be home. Amen. I'm glad to know today I'm one of his. Amen. Hey, man, if I wasn't sure I was one of his, 
I'd be on an altar. I'd be down beside a pew. I'd be down in a pew. Amen. Finding out why in the world I wasn't. Making sure that I could get in. His people. I tell you what, we're His people. We ought to be like, act like His people. Amen. Amen. I'm just going to tell you right now, I didn't come to be popular tonight. Amen. Amen. I'm just going to tell you, I'm going to be book you what God gave me. Amen. His people. Yeah. You got to look like His people. Amen. You got to look something like His people. Ain't you? Amen. If you're going to be like Christ, you're going to have to look like Christ. If you're going to look like Christ, you're going to act like Christ. If you're going to act like Christ, you're going to talk like Christ. How in the world I know what to do? Well, I tell you what, when you're born again, it just comes natural. Amen? When you're born again, it just comes. Amen? You don't have to practice it. Amen? It just comes out. Hey, I tell you what, we need to get a lot more Jesus in us so a lot more come out. I'm glad I'm one of His. His people. Hey, I want to be called by His name. Yeah. I mean, call one of his. Shouldn't have to be put on trial. Shouldn't have to dig up stuff in my life. I shouldn't have to carry around a card. An ID that says I'm one of his. People ought to know it, shouldn't they? Amen. Hey, man. Hey, man, people ought to know it. Y'all have any doubt who this boy's daddy is? Do y'all have any doubt who's that boy, who's that daddy, who's that daddy that boy is? Huh? Listen, y'all have any doubt who his grandpa is? <laughs> You know why? In the blood. Hey, man. You know, we as Christians, we as children of God, there shouldn't be no doubt, brother. There shouldn't be no doubt that we belong to Him. They ought to know it. It ought to come out of us. They ought to see it. Hey, if His people, which are called by His name, amen. You know, the Bible said right there, He said right there that they humble themselves. I'll tell you what our problem is. We're too busy with our own lives. We're too busy. Why do we pray for God? Listen. Why do we why do we want Trump in there? Why why did why did we want the election results to go a different way? You know why? Most of us vote for him. Financial reasons. Listen, I tell you, the majority of Americans tell you they're doing better today than it was four years ago. We voted for if we vote for somebody or we, we're praying for somebody or we're praying for something uh, just for our financial gains. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, you're gonna fall short all the time. Amen. Right. Bible said we need to humble ourselves. Uh, we need to realize who it is. Uh, all these things that we've got. Uh, listen, the Lord's blessed us uh, and all of us here tonight. I tell you this all the time. Uh, there ain't nobody come up here riding a uh, riding on a horse or a camel. There ain't nobody have to walk up here. Amen. Uh, we all have enough gas to go in the vehicle, amen, at least for now. We got enough gas to put in that that we might be able to get here or there. I tell you, we've been blessed by God. We need to realize, hey, it ain't about material things. We need to humble ourselves and realize just who God is. Amen. We're children of the King. Amen. amen. The story of the prodigal son. When the prodigal son went out, and he wasted everything that he had. The dad gave the son all that befell him. Was the dad empty? Was he broke? <laughs> he still had plenty. You know what? When he came to his right mind, you know what the boy said? He said, back down at my father's house, he might have some left. Down my father's house, I probably could break up something to eat. He said, down my father's house, I get down there and scrounge around. We probably can make us up enough to make a little cake. Amen. That's not what he said. He said, back down at the father's house, there was plenty. Amen. I'm telling you right now, Lord, the world needs to realize down at the father's house, there's plenty. We as God's children need to realize it don't matter who's in the White House. It don't matter who's in the Senate or the house, what matters is we still serve the king no matter what. Amen. I'm one of his children. Right. I'm one of his. Amen. How long did he got king? We're not going to do without. 
Hey, we may not always have the biggest and the best, but we're going to his as my people. I ain't even got to where I was going to preach yet. Listen, if we're his people, don't you say he cares about this is your grandson right here beside you. And let me just tell you, there's something different about them boys. I mean, there's something different about them kids. Yeah. Them grandkids. You don't even go that. You gonna let anybody be mean to you? Do you think God's gonna take care of His? Amen. Hey man, one of His. Do you think God's gonna take care of His children? Let me just tell you right now. We was talking to somebody the other day. They was getting, I don't even remember who it was. was they was getting ready to have a, 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 a baby. It wasn't going to be very long. I said, you, they said they just loved them already. I said, you wait. You wait, you hold them things in your hands. Huh? I mean, it can't. And we were talking to somebody. Uh, it's going to be, we, Melissa and I, we took Riley to the park Thursday, or Thursday afternoon. And we just got there playing around. And there was a, we walked by some lady at a, at a picnic table. And I didn't even pay no attention to her. She said something about her crying. She was crying, wasn't she? She said, I, I'm sorry. I said, I, I was crying. She said, I just got news. I'm getting ready to be a grandma for the first time. I said, it changed your life. Amen. I, she said, I, and that she said that she loved him, didn't you? And I, so she was in love and hadn't even met him. And Melissa said, you wait till you can, till you can run around with him. You wait till you hold him in your hands. And let me tell you something, God's got us in his hands. He's already held us. We're one of his. Ain't nobody going to get us out. Let's remember who we are and remember who we belong to. Amen. Amen. Hey man, your prayers let me just tell you something. So many times we feel like our prayers don't get answered. You know, we want to pray. And we want to pray for things and we want God to answer right then, don't we? When I ask the Lord for something, I want it to happen right then. Don't you? Listen. Now, we're all the same way. Y'all say that to me. I say, you're lying. You better get on that altar right now. Hey man, when we pray, we want something to happen. Problem is, do we really get ourselves in the place where we're asking for God's will to be done? Do we get ourselves in the place to prepare us for whatever God's answer is? Amen. Let me ask you this. Do you think God knows what's best for you? Then why do you pray for God to do your will? Amen. Amen. We pray to God to do all the things we want. And when He did, we think, well, they must not be praying right, or we must not be living right. And listen, we need to be praying God's will be done. But there's some conditions to this thing. We want our nation changed. I believe there's a lot, I believe there's millions of people that pray for God to change our nation, to heal our land. That's a good prayer, isn't it? Says it right there. Yeah. Second Chronicles chapter seven, verse fourteen. Says it right there. It's a good prayer to pray. But I wonder how many of us did what else the verse said besides pray. The Bible said there in verse chapter chapter number seven, verse number fourteen. He said, "If my people, which is called by my name, will humble themselves." Pray and turn. See, our problem a lot of times is we want to pray. We want God to do something. We want God to change something. But we ain't willing to change ourselves. Amen. Uh, let me just tell you right now. Uh, God said this place right here. Uh, he wasn't talking about uh, the United States. Uh, he wasn't talking about uh, Judah. He wasn't talking about those places. Uh, he's talking about the place uh, where his people are gathered. Uh, and they're willing to humble themselves. Uh, and they're willing to turn from their wicked ways. Uh, and they're willing to seek his face. Uh, hey, I'll tell you what he said he'd do. He'd heal their land. Hey, are you willing to do what it takes hey, to be able to see God change something? Yeah. There are things in our life, yeah. things going on that we have going on that we're willing, she really shouldn't be doing. Are you willing to give those things up? Let God do something. I guarantee you, all of us have people in our lives that we'd like to see in the house of God serving the Lord. Yes. Serving God. <laughs> 
If y'all hadn't, I'm just going to give you a little, a little teaser right now. I don't even know what day our Christmas play is. But whatever day our Christmas play is, you need to be here. It's not your traditional Christmas play. I'm just going to tell you something right now. Those things where the, old, the, old, the world is just continually trying to attack. I want you to know today that the world is always on Satan. He, has, he comes in many shapes, forms, and fashions. He'll do everything he can to entice you. He'll do everything he can to draw you away from God. Amen. He'll do everything he can to draw you out and to draw you away. I want to ask you something tonight. If there's things in your life hey, that are keeping you from really serving God. Well, let me just tell you what Jesus said. And Paul said it best over there in 1 Corinthians. I believe it is. He said over there in the book of Corinthians. He said, let us lay aside those weights that just so easily beset us. Us. Uh, those things that really keep me from going out and serving God. Uh, those things that really keep me uh, from getting a prayer through the heaven. Uh, those things that really keep me uh, uh, from witnessing. Uh, those things that really keep me from doing the Lord's work. Uh, hey, those things, let's get rid of it. Because uh, it don't really matter no way. Hey. What matters? What really matters? Does it matter if you got to be right or not? Does it... <laughs> To you it matters. To me it probably matters. If I got a something that's going to be, I wouldn't buy no Toyota. <laughs> something to get me to work in back. Amen. You know, so all these things, those things matter. You think of that? If it matters, God let you have it. Mm -hmm. If you're doing God's work and you're doing God's will. Let me just tell you this. God said His children who takes care of. He knows your needs before you even ask. He knows all of our needs. Our problem is we're just not going to Him the way we should. He said here for us to turn from our ways, to seek His face. If I'm seeking His face, do you know what that means? That means when I get down and I pray, He said when you pray, seek His face, right? When you get down and you pray, what are you praying to? What are you praying about? Is your hand, is your mind off and la la land? Amen. Are you getting a hold of God? Are we, are, are, are we going to the throne room of God? What do you imagine? You, you ever try to imagine what the throne of God is like? You ever try to imagine just the Bible tells us we, we got access into the throne room, don't we? Right? So we got access into the throne room through our prayer. Where are you praying at? It don't matter where you pray at. But where are you praying at? Look, you want to know one of the wildest things that makes me about my dad. He has one of the most vivid, I mean, he's two years old. He has one of the most vivid imaginations that anybody ever seen. I mean, we was eating lunch today. We was up there at, at, the, at the restaurant. And I told him, he's sitting on my lap. He's really wanting to get down. I said, you see those sharks down there? I said, them things that bite you down there. He'd lean over and look at them sharks. He'd lean over and look at them sharks. He has a vivid imagination. He don't forget nothing. He don't forget about anything. You know what I'm saying? When we pray, we ought to go into the throne room of God. I'm not talking, it don't matter where you're at. We need to humble ourselves. We can humble ourselves anywhere. We get down on that altar, the world ought to be the last thing on our mind. What we're going to do when we get up ought to be the last thing on our mind. We want to see a nation get changed. We're going to have to see us get changed. Amen. We want to see some prayers get through to heaven. We're going to have to change the way we've been doing business. Amen. We're going to have to get right to the throne room of God. Amen. I've said this before and I'll say it again. You want to know what I really think, when I really know that I'm getting through to God? Is when I can see myself at the feet of Christ, at the throne of praying. Listen, at those times I can imagine myself just right at the foot of Jesus. I mean, right in the very throne room, getting a hold of God. You know what? If we can't get ourselves there, if we can't get ourselves there. Are you really seeking His face? Are you really talking to Him? The Bible said, "When you seek My face, when we seek God's face, we're seeking to see Him." 
When we seek God's face, you know what that also means? That also means I'm seeking to see what He wants done. Amen. Not what I want done. I want to see what God would have done. Hey, when God, when I get a hold of God, and I seek His face, it ain't about nothing else. It's all about God. What well, His will be. His will. I want my will off. That's what I want. I know what I want to eat, don't you? No, y'all don't. Y'all fuss over eating more than anything. Where we going? Where we going? Listen, I know what I want to eat. I eat about anything, don't you? Hey, man, I eat just about anything. I don't want to go to God and I want His face. I want some direction from Him. And He said, You'll turn from your wicked ways. Everybody in here is thinking right now, why well, I ain't that bad? He ain't no good. Listen, we all wicked. We live in an old wicked flesh. Right. We was born this way. Amen? We were born in this old wicked flesh. But you know what else? If you've been born again, you've been born different. Yeah. Hey, man. If you've been born again, you've been born different. Hey, we ought to turn from our wicked ways, from this old fleshly way, and get back to the way the Spirit wants us. Hey, if there's things that hinder me, if there's things that's keeping me from serving God, let me lay that weight down. If there's things that I say, if there's ways that I act, Paul said, if eat me to fit my brother, I'll eat meat no more. Didn't mean he didn't like it. Didn't mean it wasn't right for him to eat. He is men. He is willing to give it up and go and do what God would have him to do. I say as a nation, I say as a church, hey, we need to humble ourselves, be willing to get everything out and give it to God. Amen. Man, yes, I, I, I know the answer. This is all rhetorical questions. If you don't know what that means, I already know the answer. I don't expect you to answer. Do you ever pray something Will and telling God you need help with something, knowing good and well, you wasn't going to give it to him. You ever ask God to do something, get up, and realize he ain't going to do that. <coughs> That's not you that do it. Amen. Amen. You like jello? <laughs> I didn't give you none, did I? That's exactly what we do when we go to the Lord in prayer. And we say, Lord, I want you to take care of this. And then we get up and we go out and we try to fix it. Hey, man. Now, if God gives you the ability, He gives you the words, He gives you the wisdom to go out and take care of it, that's one thing. Listen, if that been me, I'd open that thing up and lick it. <laughs> hey, if that been from God, there wouldn't be nothing wrong with it, would it? <clears throat> That's what we need to realize. When we go to God, and we go to Him in prayer. We need prayer time serious. I want you to realize that prayer is serious business with God. Hey, man, I'm very, I'm very cautious. You ever have to sign something and you sign something in triplicate? It's done, ain't it? Done. When you sign something in triplicate, I mean it's done. I, I mean I don't care what it is. If somebody asks me to sign something three times, I say, hmm, I, I make sure I read it, don't you? Because I'm about to get drunk. You, some of you people don't ain't never borrowed no money, have you? <laughs> you sign in triplicate when you when you get in debt, when you owe something. It don't matter what it is. If somebody tells me i got to sign more than once, I make sure I look at it. Don't you? I want to read and see what it is. Serious business with God when it comes to prayer life. When it comes to praying to God, we need to realize that we have got the most powerful weapon ever formed. We've got the most powerful weapon that we could ever have. That is a straight line. <coughs> it amazes me. You know, we say that... When we think about the president, there's a, I don't know what they carry now, but you just carry around a suitcase. They call it a football. You remember that? Everybody was afraid that Trump was going to fumble the football, wasn't he? Y'all don't know what that is. It's a, it's a briefcase. It's got some go codes. 
you people, I'm done lost y'all. Look at some of y'all. Y'all don't even have no idea. Some of y'all didn't grow up in the era that we grew up in. It, it's nukes, <laughs> nuclear weapons. At one time, it was a Cold War. One time, China, the Chinese and the Russians and the Americans y'all have all, I don't mean to brush your bubble, they've all got missiles pointed at each other. <laughs> all it takes is a push of a button. I say about that, you know, we got something more powerful than that. Yes. When we get down and pray, yeah. we can get a hold of God. <coughs> Direct communication straight to the throne room. <coughs> Wouldn't you like to know when you go up there and you pick that thing up that the cord ain't cut? Let me put this in today's turn. Wouldn't you like to know when you go up there and you pick that thing up, you got cell service? Hey man, you got internet? Hey man, Wi-Fi's working, router's not down, but you can get a hold of somebody. Hey, I'm glad to know that I can get a hold of him. I'm glad that if I do have something in my life, I'm glad to know that if I got things in my life, he said that I could come up and I could just reach out. And all I had to do was confess. And I could call on him. I could turn and leave it there at the foot of the cross. Leave it there in the throne room. He'd take care of it. He said he'd cast my sins as far as the east is from the west. He said never to be remembered anymore. Hey, I'm telling you tonight, I don't know where you are. I don't know what's going on. And we need to get back to the throne room. Is every head's bowed and every eye closed? Is every picture of the I'm not short tonight. Are you getting a hold of God? Or are you just going through motions? Are you just going through motions? Or are you really doing business? If we're doing business, let's do business. Let's get a hold of God. Train them up in the way they should go. Let me tell you right now, your children are seeing you pray. They should see you not afraid to reach out and get a hold of God. Our neighbors, we can't be afraid. I can go through all kinds of lists of things that we shouldn't be doing. You know what you shouldn't be doing. To him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, it's sin. The things in your life that you need to get out. This is a good place right here tonight. Good place right here on the altar. Lay your burdens down. Lay your burdens at the feet of Jesus. If you're here tonight, you got something you need to pray about, somebody you need to pray for. You need some help with something. Come on up. Come on up. Give it to God. He's here for you. He knows all about it already. He's just waiting on you. Just waiting on you. Won't you come? Won't you come? I'm not here to call you out or drag you out. I'm not here to point you out. I'm here to help you pray. I just want to help you pray. Jesus is going to finish up praying with this next verse. This next verse will be the last verse like of invitation we ever heard. Before Jesus comes back. Jesus could be on the way. Jason's been saying for a long time, he's a time yet. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Let me just tell you, I don't know when that time's going to be, but I sure don't think it's going to be long. When my people, my people shall humble themselves, pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked way, I'll hear from heaven. Heal their land. Anybody else want to come before we pray? Brother Johnny, you pray for us. Dear Father, come to you again tonight. Hold us. I'm going to pour thee. I know tonight you're God. I am. Don't be this thing. When I pray tonight, something will say, Don't be this thing. God, you know something to help us with this. Through this life. Help us, God, to get to that throne. Help us, dear Lord, just to be able to bear me. Help us just to turn from our way. God, I don't know what's going to happen, but I know you said so. Prepare your people. 
God, we ask you to touch our youth in this church, God. We see that them, God, just help us, God. God, just help us to be a light for them, God. God, help us to get out of this world and be a light for you, God. Help us just to take you to them, God, and let them see you and all that, God. God, we just ask you to help us, God. We just thank you and praise you, God, for all that you do for us. God, we just thank you for all the blessings, God, all for always being there for us, God. We just thank you and praise you, your son, and I pray. Amen. 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 We appreciate you tonight. Maybe somebody's got a word or a testimony on your heart. Hearts and minds clear. I'd like to say we appreciate each and every one that's come out to be with us. I'm going to tell you, bless is this old preacher's heart to see all these kids and people on this altar getting a hold of God. You say, well, you don't, listen, if you don't think they know what they're talking about, then you ought to be helping them. You ought to be praying beside them saying, Lord, show them what they need. Hey, I believe out of the mouth of babes is perfect praise. Perfect praise. Sometimes we need to take a lesson from them. Amen. We need to take a lesson from them. Do be much in prayer for all those on the prayer list. Remember all the things coming up? God knows all about it. Pray one for another. Tell somebody about the Lord this week. Shake somebody's hand.